I have received a letter from a mysterious woman named Tierna Bloodfire who claims to be from a bandit clan. Ooh. She would like me to be her judge and executioner, but first I must prove myself. Having finished her task, which is to give alms to a beggar, I must now meet her at the shrine to the west. Okay, I can do that. Meet her at the shrine west of Windhelm. Off we go. Man, it's kind of cold out here with the it's snow. It's a little chilly today. Uh, a little brisk. It's all right. I will do frost damage to her and go like this. Pew! Do frost damage to her. Are we attacking Tierna? Well, yeah. She wants us to be her judge and executioner. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to go, but it's the way I'm taking. <laughs> Hi. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to try to bite me. You're fine. Well, here we are. You made it all right. Never should have come here. I, well, then why did you want me to... Okay, as, if this is Tiro, we're taking her down, apparently. That your best. Oh. Oh, did you freeze her with the frozen sword? She... Nope. All right, interesting. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Floating uh, floating sword. So what's the shrine got? What were you uh, looking at? It's the Shrine of Talos. And, okay. That's the nothing... Talos mistake. I've already read that. Yeah, nothing else here, really. Do you want a heroic imperial helmet? No, but I think our companion does. No, I think you want a heroic imperial helmet. Only if I can wear it with my red wizard hat. But why? That hat's dumb. It's got a chain and a key on it. Like, it... it's stupid. Yeah, so we, you never know if there's going to be a locked door. I don't, I, I don't like the chain and the key. It looks weird. Well, that's why you're not wearing it now. It's am. just like, I can just hear, I hear it just going, tsk, 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 every time you're running. And it's just, it's just, it, 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 it's just like, I can hear it inside my teeth. Well, it doesn't affect my stealth skill. The pose she fell over. <laughs> She's so stern. She's goodbye. So, so goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. I got a quest from her dead body. And a letter. <laughs> there it goes. Bye. Thanks for the ebony armor. Man, that rigor mortis set in fast. Yeah, real fast. And the cold. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Still rolling. Still going. <laughs> they see me rolling. They hate. Oh, yeah, she's going down the river. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. First We're off, I'm sorry about the tests. My hope was that it'd give me a window into your mind and bring comfort to mine. You gave the beggar bread, a choice I agree with. Gold can be wasted, wine can be a poison, but a meal can never be squandered. Perhaps if I had been given a similar gift, my life would have been different. As such, I deem you a worthy judge. Hopefully, you will be a swift executioner. Either way, I thank you. Lastly, to the ones I don't know in life, don't mourn my death. As one of you once told me, when all you do is look to the past, it's time to close the book in, on one's future. I do so on my own terms. Goodbye. The Crimson Earth, Tier of Bloodfire didn't just want any crew. Bandits never built great houses, yada, yada, yada. All right, cool. She made an organization called the Crimson Dirks. Was this her autobiography she just had on her person? Well, now you got a bunch of ebony and armor. Ebony plate gauntlets. Ooh, you gonna put it all on. See how and you Ebony look? plate boots. You got some ebony armor. That's what ebony armor I looks like. I look pretty freaking cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's how I look. I look freaking cool. Yeah. I, I look awesome. Yeah. Maybe you can find a different ebony helmet that'll go better. Gee, that's totally going to take me back now. She's going to be like, oh, look at you. And I'm going to be like, yeah, look at me. And she's going to be like, look at you looking like a whole snack. And I'm going to be like, yeah, a snack that would chip your tooth because I'm so hard. And then we'll make out on each other in the bar in front of everybody. And you'll be like, would you like to travel with me now? And she'll be like, I always did because you you're the one. You're the one that keeps, <laughs> that keeps rejecting me for some other hussy. You keep breaking up with her and then being like, check it out. Guess you feel bad for dumping me, huh? She's like, I, I, I can't. Why can't I quit you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is an abusive relationship. Janessa deserves better. Janessa deserves so much better than me. <laughs> um, it is rumored that the gray fox is buried in the cemetery in Riften. I'd much rather grave rob for it than go to the place. So let's do that. It's somewhere over the rainbow over here. It's not pointing me. It's not being specific enough. Damn you, Imperial Geological Survey! <sighs> There's just so much to do. Um, so much, so many possible things to do around here. Ah, uh, you're trying to get to the docks over there. Yes. Shit. Oh no, my armor is too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God these stairs were here. I feel like if you're gonna have a cemetery, it might, might just keep it outside the, the walls. Right? What? Yeah, like that's, what are you using good real estate in the city for when you have all the space outside of the city 
That you could be bit whatever. I guess it's inside the city. We're to the cemetery. Which is right here. I'm at, and there's a dead body. Why did you just dump him? <sighs> no one's moved him yet. Take his note and take his stuff. I... Riften is drowning in a sea of sin and wickedness. Yeah, and? Don't be judgmental. Thief's note, gold, lockpick, diamond. Uh... He stole so many goblets. Why are you taking so many goblets, my guy? They're not worth anything! Not a lot of room for people to be buried in yeah, here. He really should be moved to the potter's field, but... He, now he just looks like he passed out real drunk. <laughs> He's just like, I gotta get up when I'm done! Uh, my wife was buried in the mausoleum. The fox told me he wore the cowl to forget himself and start a new life. Yet I'm the one who can't remember. Every time we meet, he's a stranger to me. Or was it a she? It doesn't matter. I spoke his words to a beggar. Told her, Shadow hide you. She slipped me a note that confirms my suspicions. The gray fox is dead. Long live the gray fox. Wait, no. And now that I've seen his headstone, I know for a fact that his time is over. And the cowl will be passed on. I'm gonna be the next one to wear it. So you think? And when I do, I'll become so rich I won't need any memories. Just buy new ones. That's not how memories work, jackass. <laughs> so, the cowl is being passed on, is it? Mm hmm I think I'm the right person to earn the cowl. Yes. Even though I'm a terrible thief. Well, the cowl will make you better at it. Speak the code phrase to a beggar. All right, gotcha. Not sure how that's going to help us, but uh, we'll see. Is the code phrase that I'm speaking to a beggar... I got you now, bitch, and then I shoved the sword into his chest. Was it Shadow Hide You? Something silly like Shad that? Shadow Hide You. And apparently any random beggar will have the thing. All right. Hey. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Yeah, uh, Shadow Hide You. Of course. You're here about to jab. You don't know what it's for, but I'm sure you're intrigued. It's all right, you don't need to know everything just yet. There's a strong box in Bolly's house. Place that addresser next to his bed. Find a way to crack it open. Your instructions for the job are inside. If you want my opinion on Black Riot hey. Mead, I have Just how long did you expect me to keep I'd those people distracted? Head. I had to let the whole plan fall through. Uh, what plan? Well, at least you didn't do anything stupid. Next time when you're given a job, don't wander off or take your sweet time. Well, maybe you shouldn't assume that all of my money was ill-gotten. Uh, my organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking, if you're up to the challenge. We haven't stolen anything! Yeah, and besides, it's wrong to steal! Play it however you want, but listen up. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Great. When you come to your senses, find me there, and we'll discuss your future. No! I'm not being a hypocrite, I'm just moving this meat around. That's what I do. That meat doesn't belong hey, to you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, my name's Zach, I'm... Uh... The caravan Khajiit think they are the racist, but they simply <laughs> haven't paid the gate fee. That is how Rifton works. Um, retrieve the instruction from Bully's house or convince Nivenor to give you her keys. Um, Bully's house, retrieve. Okay, yeah, so we'll go to Bully's house. We still going for that cowl? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll do that. We're going the back way. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm definitely not sneaking in the back way. That, that was a loud clack. <laughs> Be careful. I don't, of course I'll be careful. I'm always careful. Yeah, breaking and entering is difficult. Fenric says open. Yeah. Definitely didn't illegally open a gate. I would never do such a thing. You definitely didn't illegally close it on my face, you jerk. Is there not an entrance up? What was the point in coming up here? <laughs> no back entrance, huh? What the? Ah, uh, that's fun. That's fun. Nope, he's only got one exit. There's only one entrance and exit into this building. That, my fr- Ow! Oh, that basket! I twisted my ankle again! <laughs> that don't mind me. Don't look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job, sneaking team. Right, good sneak, good sneak. Uh, that's a, that's a stupid looking fork. <laughs> Wait a that's a tuning fork, you idiot! Don't... Steal from the strong box. 
If you've got the skill, and you do. Mm, I've always despised my husband's charity, but at least it was just coin. Then he led that stranger into our home for dinner. He's an odd sport, prone to forgiveness and want uh... He stared at my boobs, or the amulet around my boobs, but stare regardless. It wasn't entirely unwelcome, but I wasn't about to flirt in front of my husband. Harlot! <laughs> wow, this woman is, uh, this woman is awful. How so? She's just like, yeah, my husband is stupid. He does charity. <laughs> Items, uh, stranger's instructions. You've made it this far, which proves you're ready for the real work. But first, let's go over why you're here. You may have heard that the gray fox is dead. This is true. But the fox lives on in the one who wears the cowl. This job will tell me if that person is you. Ooh. Who am I? <laughs> you don't need to know that. Just a stranger who wants to see the cowl passed on to somebody who deserves it. As you might expect, this job won't be easy. It requires fast thinking and fast figures. But get it done and you'll be worthy of being the next gray fox. Don't you want that? You would be gray fox. Why are you reading it so fast? Because I got things to do. Okay. Take the forged deed in the strong box. Then find a woman named Gisley in solitude. On her should be the real document. You'll take this. You'll, you'll swap it out and all that stuff. Place the fake in Acre's house. She'll think she misplaced it. When the job's done, find the barrel behind the wicked skeever for further instructions. All right. So we haven't actually done Kravlock's thing. When charged with ten souls, it summons a frost mark. So we have to kill ten things with that dagger, and then you get a free... That sounds like a pain in the ass, but let's do that. Hey, there's a thing you can kill to get the soul. One no, soul! Uh, yep, it's a cave, which, you know, usually there's enemies in caves. Yeah, but I don't see any markings for bandits. Hey, there's something! <laughs> Alright, we gotta go into the cave to find more skeletons. <laughs> Alright, that's what we're doing today. Yeah! I wanna charge this thing and I wanna see what an ice monarch looks like. What if it has even bigger booba? Oh god, J-Cups. I feel like those ones that we were looking at are J-Cups. Double J-Cups. Goodness! They're J-Cups, but they went through the entire alphabet just to get to J again. Oh my god, yeah, they went all the way through, all the way to Z and then back up. I don't know how, I don't know how bra sizing works. <laughs> Need me some skill. I hear victims! <laughs> it's just everything clanking. <laughs> Is someone there? A bandit feral cub? Right. Oh, were you raised by wolves? <laughs> Was he? I hear, I hear like the... Oh. Whoa, no, that, that's the... <laughs> that's the butt. Yep. That's not what we're looking for. Although, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, we were just down there. Hmm. That's where, this is where the skeleton was. Is this a small cave? Oh, wait, there's a door. I'm... Sorry. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't notice it either. You're dead. Oh, it yes, it burns! With no. ice! That was probably pretty brutal to look at. Luckily, I couldn't see because of the pine needles. Yes. I'm not sure if there's anything else left in this cave. I don't think there is. I think that was the end of the cave. Very well, we'll go to a different one. Would you rather fight five horse-sized bandits or 100 bandit-sized horses? Oh, why would I even choose the latter one? <laughs> <laughs> well, because the other ones are just horses. They're not, they're not doing anything. They're just being horses. But you have to fight them, though. It's a uh, Clydesdale. That, does so that... it's a big. It's a big horse. Doesn't change my answer. What do you mean it's a big horse? You already told me its size. Would you rather fight one stone-sized boulder or one hundred boulder-sized stones? Oh God. Hey. Oh, someone drew a blade on us. Cure Bay Soaring Shield, eh? Yeah. Yeah. That guy seems like he might be tough. Yeah, tough my ass. Shank. Do you want his imperial armor? It's pretty good. Uh, nah, I'm trying. I'm actually trying to get away from the imperial armor. I'm just wearing it because it's the reddest thing I've found so far. Hey, look at that! The beautiful skylights. Yeah, it's Aurora Borealis. Mm -hmm. So we're off to swap out some documents. Yes. And we're gonna summon a blue monarch. Yes. And that hopefully has big booby. And then you want to go fight the mask monster that you ran away from last time. Yeah. Y yes, if I don't forget. Maybe you'll be prove more of a challenge this time. Hello. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Rika. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. Okay, thank or you. You'll end up like Rogvir. Okay, thank you. Who's Rogvir? I don't know. Okay. Some guy. It's a very lovely castle out here. Very nice, very nice. They can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! Traitor? 
You betrayed us. Uh, is he working for the blue shields or whatever? Is he working you for the whatever? You should tell me that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. Traitor. They're all hard, Vivian. So what's going Ron on? Vir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Lion. challenged Torig. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! 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 Why are we booing him? Boo! He I'm betrayed us! I'm not from here! <laughs> On this day, I go to Sovngarde. By the way, we made up Sovngarde. It was a lie! Ha 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 ha! Oh, he's dead. This is the closest thing we got to good, entertainment around good here. Good entertainment, everyone. Go away. You go away. Hi, I saw the lady with the pretty Some hair. Some gate guard you were. <laughs> well, he's dead. He can't hear you anymore. That's definitely going in my part of the Edda. The, the what? What's on your mind? Nah, nothing. <laughs> One guy's just <laughs> yawning. Another day, another execution. Donation donation cats. Bowl, please help. Oh, True, I may look the part go. of dashing swordsman, oh, but there I is prefer a... the art of wit Where did for this that happen? of warfare. <laughs> I don't remember this happening, good lord. Hmm, you th maybe, maybe you don't remember it happening because it pierced the part of your brain that stores oh, that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it hit the short-term memory area and now I can't remember anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it now. It hit the short-term memory area so I can't remember anything. Yes, oh, yeah. hey, there's a, there's a Luna Moth. Couple of bugs out tonight. Ha, ha, ha. Come back, Luna Moth. No! Land on the spear sticking out of his face. What? There's a spear sticking out of my face. Oh my god! <laughs> when did this happen? Yes, yes. Oh, it must have punctured the part of my brain that, does, that stores short term memory, so I can't remember it happening. Jesus. <laughs> the Winking Skeever, that's where we're going, yes. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. All right, I will. <laughs> oh, so the, he told the child to go home, so she went to the bar. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Oh, that seems incredibly rude, Gizli. Welcome to the center of the world, or at least my brother Erica's world. Goodness, Erica's your brother, huh? Yes, my older brother. And the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. Ship on her shoulder. But really, shoulders. since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. Good cheer and good All right cheer then. Means of... We'll speak again later, if we must. You just spend your time here bossing me around and yelling for more drinks. You're practically retired already. Why not let me run Skeever? I already know lots about it. Ha! <laughs> A girl running a bar. Don't be ridiculous, Minette. <laughs> what about Auntie Fida and Dragonbridge? She runs a bar, and you said she's one of your favorite girls. Ha! <laughs> That's it. I'm not retiring, ever. End of discussion. Ha! <laughs> I'm curious about the Argonian over here with the pirate hat. I expected... You're passing through solitude? Uh, I don't know Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? Oh? Uh, uh, what hmm. did you have in mind, Mr. Fancy Hat? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I also like to collect things, but I'm not a thief. Of course not. Thieves take what is precious. Thieves steal. We just take what will not be missed, what no one needs anymore. Maybe we take some weapons and stop a few deaths. Who would call that thievery? The police. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people. And they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in. But if its you fire were to go out, the ice runner would run aground. So you want me to put out the lighthouse? What an interesting that. idea. Don't be a silly girl. I think if someone were to do something like, like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Ah! 
Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Wait, what's gonna happen to all the sailors on the boat? If you put if I put out the lighthouse, the boat's gonna crash and sink. Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad <laughs> crash. Uh, this seems a little underhanded, but it also seems like a fun way to make money. Yeah, I feel like we should turn you into the guards, though. Turn me in? For what? What crime's been committed? Conspiracy? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. Domestic terrorism. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Yeah, yeah, it probably would be. So, uh, don't mind us. Yeah, what, do you, what do you got? Yeah, okay. the land title indeed, huh? Oops. You've stolen oh. it. Oh, apparently, and I've gotten away with it, too. And then we break into this building, Erica's house. The door was open. Like he was expecting me. Ooh, hello. But was he? Right, we'll, just, we'll just drop this off and leave as quietly as we came in. Quick and quiet as a mouse. Melloron, you lazy milk drinker. Have you finished studying the imports from Black Marsh? Indeed I have, sir. Elven weapons for their armies, sir. Elven material, but poor workmanship. Like most of what we get from them. Scary thinking of those boots with an army of elven weapons at their mm. command. Let's be thankful they're half a world away, eh? Even a fine weapon is only as good as its wielder, sir. Hmm. But they should fetch a high price from the Imperial Army. Shh. Right you are, Elf. Or even from the Rebels, if they've got enough money to make a competitive offer. As always, Lord, your loyalty is a shining example to us all. <laughs> oh, 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 quick, in here, in here, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. I think we're still in the clear. Uh... Hi. We're the rat exterminators. Why do you have that many armor on? Uh, big rats? <laughs> okay, we're gonna just hop in here a little bit. Don't mind me. I, I feel like I should load the... Oh, letter to Gizli. Construction on the port east of Jenna has been approved and will begin once a transfer of land is official. The boy's consent should suffice as the head of the Iceblade clan has been... Well, has long been absent, and the mother has taken ill, per your brother's instruction. The deed is enclosed in this letter. Sending the boy to Riften before he's old enough to grasp what happened is a good idea. Not the orphanage, though. It's best you live in comfort, lest he suspect our motives. Still, it's a dangerous gambit. Made more complicated should the rightful heir return. Your brother would kill me for saying this, but if you have the chance, it may be worth selling the venture for the right price. This has been more trouble than it's worth. So we're not stealing from innocent people. These people are... Gross people. Yeah, and you know, maybe we should probably do it so that he doesn't realize we were in here, because I feel like he's just gonna tell everyone we came here immediately. He won't have any proof. Greetings, lady. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Uh, wh why? Hmm, if you ever want to replace those old rags, stop by Radiant Raymond. This is the, this is ebony armor! What is wrong with it? Nothing at all. It's very... nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should come by our shop, Radiant Raiment. We could fix you right up. Well, we, we prefer function over form. Yeah, do you always insult people when you meet them? It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire <laughs> is concerned. Wow. Good lord, what should I wear to the Blue Palace? What you manufacture, I presume. You're really going to the Blue Palace? That presents an opportunity. I'm not. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Uh, that sounds easy. If we make our way to the Jarl of town. Yeah, if I go see him at some point. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Alright, great. Remember Radiant Raymond when you I need a change will. of attire. I will! you said it like 20 times! It's not like I got an arrow sticking out of my face and my short-term memory is... Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. 
swooping is bad. What am I looking for? And my working days are done. There's the hey, bell. Hey, final instructions. You're good. You're great. You picked her pockets clean and made the switch. We did, yes. Now you'll need to put those skills to the test and more. In Silver Drift Lair is a tomb that houses an ancient Nord clan. Near a large chest is a corpse with a lantern. Its candle is still burning. It holds a key. When you have the key, open the chest and you'll find a sword that can raise the dead. That's pretty cool. When you find it, bring it to the grave of the Grey Fox in Ripton. It's a small unmarked headstone on the east side of the cemetery. Complete the task and maybe you'll even get to meet him. Ooh, resurrecting the Cowl Wielder. Necromancy! Uh, we've never done that before. We're gonna go hey. do that thing you told us to do. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna go do that thing. You're kind of tall, aren't you? Uh, that's not a bad thing. It's just an observation. You're kind of tall. Uh, maybe your posture is just bad. I have been, you know, I've honestly been trying to work on my posture as of late. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've really been trying to. It's it's difficult. It is, yes. It's very difficult, but I basically have repeatedly been like, okay, I need to... Posture stand check. Up, stand posture up straight. Check. Stand, up straight yep. stand up straight. Don't slouch. Where is the blue palace? What is the blue palace? We didn't really get any details on yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> she was just like, don't go to the blue palace like that. And I was like, I don't know what that is, but I'm going there now that you told me not to go there like this. Oh, I bet it's that blue building. Oh, the blue palace? Maybe. We might as well get, I mean, like, this, we can just do this while we're here. Yeah, And then sure. I don't have, then I can just get rid of this clothing, because, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not going to wear it anymore. I bet I look really silly right now wearing, <laughs> I look like a very strange nobleman. Hello, we're here. We're wearing nice clothing. Hold on, this guy's going to get executed. Let's watch. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. Ooh. We need someone to investigate. I like the sound then of that. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Well, scry harder. Perhaps a more tempered reaction. I can be tempered. Be called for. I'll oh, do it. Yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave. I'll do well, it, I'll Arnus. do it, I'll do it. I like taking care easy. of caves. You're dismissed. It's so easy to get sidetracked. Hey, hey. Do you have business with the court? Uh, here you're looking for some help with Wolf's Gold Cave. Wait, were we just there? You mean the Dragonbridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Yeah, I'll totally do it! Feel free to return to me with questions. Hello. The blue if you have business, please forward. see Falk Firebeard, my steward. You have a very oh. panicked look on your face. She does look very panicked. Hey, you know, oh, is, are you panicked because Ulfric killed your husband? Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... he simply ceased to be. Goodness. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Uh, you might be frowning, but at least your eyebrows are smiling. High... God damn it, Mike. <laughs> <sighs> so you're the High Queen of Skyrim? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. That, you know, that, yes, that does seem important. However, what do you think of my new suit? It's quite fetching, actually. <laughs> the craftsmanship is excellent. It was made by Radiant Raymond. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, do you trust General Tullius? 
Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? To not do that. I take my leave. Uh, my Jarl, I guess. One of my many Jarls. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Tourists, huh? How's it going? I can always find time to share a word with a warrior. Uh, is that me? Am I the warrior? The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Oh, hey, I just stole something from your hi- I mean... <laughs> Bye! Good, we've wasted a... <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of things we're in the process of doing right I got now. A lot of, I got a lot of soups. I got a lot of soups boiling. <laughs> hey! Need something? Hey, hot pants. Isif loved the outfit. She said she'll be placing an order soon. That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours. And here's something for your trouble. Thank you very much. Ooh, that's a lot of money. We got, uh, that uh, one. Obtain the ancestral sword, and then find the key on the corpse with the lantern. Okay. Oh, and also we got this one, so we can clear out Wolf Skull Cave. Oh, we already did that, like, five minutes ago. No, we didn't. Clear out Wolf Skull Cave. Yeah, we did. We just cleared it out! We did it! We did it! Oh, well, we did it! Well, apparently we have to go back there and look at it to tell them we cleared it out. Okay. Maybe the crabs are employed by the wizard as well. They Easy swear then. fealty to Skyrim's high king, who we just talked to. She's gonna buy dresses. She's the high queen. Who's the high queen? The one you just talked to. Oh, I got an arrow stuck in my head. Uh, it's 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 okay. It, yeah. it must have penetrated the short-term memory portion of my brain, <laughs> and that's why I Shut can't remember. Shut the fuck up. That really tickled me for some reason. <laughs> just bringing that back after like an hour. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm not wearing this rag anymore. I don't care how hot the elf is that gave it to me. Oh, shit. Use your ice dagger to t kill them and take their souls. Yes, you'll get that monarch in no time. That takes care of that. Draugrs have souls, right? Yeah. Hope so. Hey, hey, uh, it's working, it's working. Oh, no, it's not working. He's some, he's... He's being resurrected. And the one with the ice shield, yep. There's a few of you down here, Necromancers. Oh, goodness, they're dropping fast when this thing is actually a full charge. Stop reviving them! The Necromancers have paired up. Every time you kill one, the other one revives him. Oh, is this mine? You've summoned one. Oh. That's your monarch. Uh, I think I think I summoned it, but now it's stuck inside the ceiling. <laughs> it, it's not able to one maneuver. Whoa. Where'd that thing come from? I am King Oak. Maybe the monarch will like show up over here if it's if I move far enough. Woo! Hey, he made his way out! Well, he does have a dumpy, but he's not as sexy as I would like him to be. We've cleared everything else out, right? Nope. Nope. Right. Oh goodness, it goes to Wolf Skull Ruins! I didn't realize there was more. Curious! Ooh! Um. Whoa! Okay, now I see what they meant by strange lights. <laughs> this is a thing, all right. Aurora Boreal! Morning, Queen. Hear our call and awaken. We summon Potema. Potemkin? The battleship? We ship? summon Potema. Stop summoning Potema! Long have you slept the dreamless sleep of death, Potema. No longer. Hear us, Wolf Queen. We summon you. Hey, have you been picking up books about the Wolf Queen? We, we summon, summon Potema. Potema. Looks like we're sniping Potema today. Oh, no soul gem large enough. We gotta get a few more soul gems next time we're in town. Oh, goodness. There you go. You got one. Yeah, this is working. <laughs> just picking them off one by one. Yep, just get stocking up. There we go. The guys gotta refill some of those soul gems real quick. Ow, wait, man, what happened to you? I don't remember. I got hit in the short term memory loss portion of my brain. <laughs> Just like this guy needs a arrow in the back. Oh! Didn't one shot him. Oh! He's that's a baseball! <laughs> He's relocating. Yes! Yes! Return me to this realm! We're going too slow and they keep on summoning her! Summon you. The blood of the innocent divine. Oh, my arrows are over here! <laughs> oh my god, I actually Some killed several of them! Found by blood. blood. I, I like how this what? one is. What are you doing? You fools! 
You cannot bind me to your will. Oh, Tema is mad. She doesn't want to be bound. Bound, bound, bound by, by blood. blood. You ants don't have the power to bind me. You fools! Potema doesn't want to be summoned! She hates you all! Yeah! She thinks you're stinky! Alright, you know what? You guys asked for it. It's a, it's scroll time. I got a bunch of these things and I haven't used any of them. A uh, scroll of Shock Nova. <laughs> well, you did something, I guess. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. <laughs> Yo, you think? Oh, what a surprise! Opponents in melee range take eight points of fire damage per second. Ah, right, we're in close quarters. So this is a good time to use that spell. Yup. Stop the intruder. No one can save the you now. White hates you. Ah. Ha ha! You're burning because you're close ah. to us. Yeah. Victory is oh. ah. Filling up so many freaking soul gems. Oh. <laughs> 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 should we finish the ritual or should we? I shall not be bound. See anything useful? Great. <laughs> Ah, uh, crap. So, Potema got summoned. No one was able to stop that from happening. It's, it's okay. Wait, is it okay? I don't think it's okay. Who's Potema? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to see. Yeah. Because <laughs> of the flames. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Uh, necklace of Death Hands. Nice. This Enjoy. place is now cleared out. Yeah, we did it. Nice work, team. Got rid of the necromancers and the skeletons and also Potema, apparently. I need more ice spells. That's what I need. Do I have any more ice spells? You're using fire spells. I want ice spells. Okay. <laughs> I got a hailstone. That's a novice spell. That's bull Ooh, unbounded freezing. <laughs> you can just use choking spells like choking grasp and strangulation. You can be a choke romancer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called a domomancer. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> it's like choke people. <laughs> we, we still got to get that cowl, though. Oh, man. Yeah, you're right. All right, well, why don't we head back into... Oh, damn it, I went the wrong way again. Hey, we made our way out. All oh. right, back to solitude. Okay. Firebeard! You've returned. Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Um, some necromancers were attempting to summon and bind Potema. Potema herself? Please tell me you stopped them. Uh, yes, I interrupted the ritual. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. She still got summoned. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. Who's Potema? Do I? Oh. Tell me who Potema. Oh, okay. Hey. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Who's Potema? Not even an option. All right. Anytime, friend. Okay, so we got sidetracked for a little bit, but next time we're gonna finish the job and get that. Uh, not cowl of gray turtle, gray, uh, the the cowl. The cowl of nocturne. The cowl of the gray turtle. We have to go get the cowl of the gray turtle. I, you know, I would think that stopping a summoning of Potema would be good enough for the cowl of gray turtle. The gray, gray turtle, nocturnal. Yeah, I'm dumb. The, cr the cradle of turtles, yes. <laughs> the cr ah! Oh! <laughs> I did not expect. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, here he comes. God, he barely fits. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine just being one of the random villagers and suddenly you just hear doom, 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 as this thing just comes stomping through town? This guy who's got a knife for a hand. Oh my god. Oh, he does actually have a face in there, see? I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> and we're back here. We have not found the exit. We're back oh. here. Oh, wait. Oh, god, we came back. We found a ritual. Uh, where's Necromancer's uh, it was a ritual? Oh, that's a little bridge. Uh, well. Let's see. Let's see. Mythic, qua mythic quasi crystalline morpholith that has been transformed into an extra dimension. Oh, this is Liminal Bridges again! Wrong book! It's always Liminal Bridges! I think you're very clever, young man, but it's Liminal Bridges all the way down. 